This here's my DeWalt 708 compound sliding miter saw, wood chop saw. Um, it gets a lot of use, it gets a lot of abuse, and because of the way I move it around a lot, um, it's gotten a little out of square. So today, a couple things I want to do. I want to open everything up on the, on the deck and vacuum it out, put it back together, then square the blade. Not a big video, not hard to do, so let's just get to work. At this point, we are not done cleaning yet, but it's kind of the, the next screws I'm going to pull out are the ones that help you uh, square it up. So I just wanted to bring you back now instead of uh, instead of after I had this all taken apart. So there's four screws right here. Yep, let's get those out. And you don't have to take these out to square it up. I'm going to take it out because there's wood and stuff jammed up back in there. So I just want to do a, just a little bit better cleaning than just squaring it up. One more screw, but you can't get to it because it's underneath here. And what these these screws hold in place is this this notched centering guide here, or alignment guide. Let's see if I can get it out. I don't even know if I can get it out. I usually just align this thing and square it up and move on, but if I take it all the way to one side. But you can see, let me get over further. You can see, look at all the stuff that's behind there. All this down in here. So let me hit this with the vac and then uh, we'll start putting it back together and square it. We're almost done. There we go. So now it's all cleaned out and we're going to slide this guide back in place. Take it all the way over to the side. There we go. So bring it under through here and there we go. That takes you real close to having it done. Now that we've got it all vacuumed out, it's all cleaned out. I put the four uh, lockdown screws back in place, but they're not tight, okay? If you watch this right in here, see I can just move this back and forth, and it's locked into the zero position here. So what we wanna do is we just wanna take our square, and this is gonna be hard for me to do and still have you guys have it, uh, be able to see what I'm doing. Just take your square, hold it up, and this is where you got to be careful. It depends on the type of blade you're using. If you're using something that has on the teeth, 
has got like carbide or has a white curb and stuff like that, you want to avoid those because that will throw you off. Put your square against your fence here and then try to get it right at on the meat of the blade and I could get I, I got a little rock right there that little rock so what I want to do is I just want to tap it over try to get rid of that and use this bottom part of the fence because this here's this here will move but this here is fixed well it's bolted in I should say so get it lined up put your blade down make sure it's not on any teeth and there we go, we're done. So now, without jostling things around too much, lock it in. Well, there you go. Not a big project, only takes a couple of minutes. But, like, my poster's up here. Um, and other woodworking projects that I do. If it's something that's important to me, um, I'll come out here and I'll square this guy up first. Then I'll get to work. Now, if your machine is fixed on a bench and you've got out feed and in feed all set up and this thing rarely moves, I mean, you could almost set it and forget it. I would, I would re-square it every time you change the blade. In my situation, uh, I am banging this thing all over the place. Um, just locking it down, moving the stand around, <laughs> dragging it over gravel I mean uh, so I gotta stay on top of mine so whenever a project's important I square up the blade did I do a perfect job? no but I made progress so thanks for watching